Boa tarde a todos. As Mr. Francisco instruiu me, I am uh, Tom Ho Kim from uh, CSP uh, in Fortaleza, Ceará. So the I am working in the chief project office in uh, CSP. CSP, as you know, there three companies joint venture with the Valley in Brazil and uh, two Korean company Dongguk and Posco. I am the uh, operation and project engineer in CSP Postco. So uh, today I would like to focus on the uh, how the Postco we have uh, uh, the ways to the, the answer to the future. So I'm very glad and uh, it's my great honor to have this opportunity to present to my this distinguished ABM uh, here today. Uh, POSCO will be celebrating its 50th anniversary in this year. I thought it would be uh, meaningful to share with you our past during the 50 years as well as any the way forward. As you can see from the slide, I, the title of the presentation is POSCO's Answer to the Future. I thought it would be the appropriate uh, title to describe how POSCO is ready to take on new challenges in commemorating 50 years and beyond. Uh, just the contents of six uh, chapters. Uh, before I begin, I, uh, let me brief touch upon the history of steel. Uh, as the dominant material for weapons since the Iron Age, steel has uh, ultimately shaped our civilization. Steel has uh, proven itself a useful material for modern structures such as Crystal Palace and the Eiffel Tower built in 19th century in France. And it also goes uh, without saying that still has contributed greatly to the establishing efficient infrastructure networks all throughout the world. With the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, America as one of the major examples. Indeed, uh, still is one of the most widely used material across the variety of industries from automotive to offshore structure in extreme environments. It has been the, the very backbone of human civilization. Uh, from the historical standpoint, the center of the global steel industry has shifted uh, in the line with the changing market demands and the technological advances that enable cost reduction and quality improvement. Uh, in the 19th century, as you see that the United Kingdom stood as heart of the global steel industry with the invention of the PSM process and the huge demand created by the first and second industrial revolutions. After the uh, first and second world wars, the core country of steel industry shifted to the United States, the country that experienced its potential uh, growth with growing demand for automotive uh, production and infrastructure development. It was also then uh, when a new technology emerged linking upstream and downstream processes resulting in a higher production efficiencies. The next st stop was Japan with demand arising from the increasing shipbuilding and automotive exports bolstered, uh, bolstered by the maximizing shipping efficiency rise of coastal steelworks and adoption of con continued casting and the continuous annealing line technology. More recently, the surging demand in China made uh, the country the new center of the steel industry, accounting of almost 50% of global steel production. So where does the POSCO stand amid all these transitions? Founded in 1968, uh, POSCO has shifted its focus from uh, quantitative expansion to qualitative growth to become a more sustainable company after the completion of the Guangyang Works in 1992. Uh, after the Korean War that lasted from the 1950 to 1953, the Korean government was anxious to pick up the pieces. In uh, 1962, the government rolled out the first five-year plan for economic development with focus on the forestry steel industry, along with uh, its customer industries such as shipbuilding, heavy industry, and uh, automotives. 
as the part of plan, POSCO was founded on April 1st, 1968, and the first stage construction of Pohang Works. One of the two uh, steel works of POSCO was completed in 1973. Uh, the growth of the Korean steel industry stimulated virtuous cycle, enabling rapid development in industries with huge steel demand in the 1970s and 80s. With the ultimate lead to the miracle of Hangang River, the term we use to describe the phenomenal post-war growth in South Korea. As a result, Korea was able to transform the, uh, from a world ravaged nation to a successful host of Summer Olympic Games in 1988. To meet growing the steel demand in Korea, POSCO constructed Gwangyang Works in 1992. This slide shows a brief history of the first integrated steelworks in Korea, POSCO's first works in Pohang. The shareholders gathered for the first time in March 1968 to discuss creation of history. The construction control office opened in May and in 1970. POSCO invited the president of Korea for groundbreaking ceremony. After three years later, POSCO celebrated the blow-in ceremony in the blast, first blast furnace. These pictures from the 90s, the site was now Pohang Works, stand before it was constructed. In the back, uh, in the time, the land has absolutely nothing but this signboard saying, I am making plant. We had no money, no infrastructure, no technology in our hands. Nothing but only will we have. What we see on this slide is an overview of Postco Group's business portfolio, which is largely divided into steel and non-steel sectors. Uh, the steel sectors consist of Pohang and Gwangyang Works, respectively the world's largest and second largest for the single steel works. The non-steel sectors include the trading, infrastructure, and the material and chemicals, and energy, and ICT business. As one of the end of the, as of the end of the 2016, Postco Group has 22 affiliates and 15 subs, subsidies under the, its wing, overseeing uh, 63 operations in 23 countries. The group combines employees around the 61,000, including the 29,000 global state members. Among them, the number of steel-related business employees amount to around 17,000. On a, a consolidated basis, Postco Group achieved $45.7 billion in revenue and $2.4 billion in operating 5.4 percent. Uh, 1.3 percentage point from the previous year. Last year, performance uh, was the most uh, remarkable given in the challenging market conditions. Uh, this slide shows the brief summary of Postco's 50 years of journey, which can be divided into four large pages. Uh, phase one, foundation stage, with the first stage completion of the Pohang work. Phase two, uh, domestic expansion with completion of Guangyang Steelworks. And phase three, uh, diversification and global expansion when POSCO was listed in New York Stock Exchange and is the completion of the PT Karao Katao POSCO in Indonesia. The next and the fourth phase is a smartization, led by the former CEO. Since his, since his inauguration, he has led a proactively group-wide restructuring based on select and focus strategy with a strong emphasis on optimizing portfolio and enhancing profitability. His effort has resulted in a solid growth in the group in a whole, together with our ability to POSCO, is actively seeking new engines for future growth, such as energy business, or the next generation materials in light of the first industrial revolution. As, a, as part of such a transition, the POSCO has been actively engaged in technology development, 
since 2010, mainly in four different areas, like this slide shows that uh, low cost and eco friendly processes, and the low cost and high quality operations, how uh, the high function products and the new business. Uh, this slide shows the uh, turn to POSCO in the global steel market. Uh, according to the World Steel Association, global crude, crude steel production reached 1.6 billion tons in 2015, with China responsible for half for about 13.3%, and Korea 4.3%, which is equivalent to 69 million tons. Uh, Facility-wise, POSCO makes up one half of the Korean market in terms of production capacity. As for steel demand in Korea, construction industry accounts for 45%, followed by the automotive and the shipbuilding with around 20% each. As I mentioned earlier, POSCO has successfully complemented the countless changes during its 50 years of journey. We are where we are today, thanks to the commitment and the cooperation of all stakeholders driven by a strong vision. POSCO began from the scratch. We had no experience, no technology, no money, and most of all, we had no fundamentals required to build the integrated steel mill. It means uh, formidable uncertainties during the domestic expansion phases. POSCO has to respond to the growing demand arising from the rapid economic development, when the challenge was to find out the right side. So how did the POSCO deal with the challenge? We actually created a site ourselves by reclaiming 15 million square meters of area, seven times the size of the Monaco, in the Gulf of Guangyang, despite the weak soil basis using innovative techniques. During the 1990s, the uh, POSCO focused on the diversifying business and uh, entering overseas market to uh, address stagnant growth. I have to admit that uh, not all of our initiatives at the time brought a successful result, but POSCO carried on the con continuous innovation that made the POSCO that we are today. With the uh, 35 Four years of my career in POSCO, uh, I have identified the three core values that trans, uh, transcend the time, as described in here. Each value and the initiative to POSCO has engaged in promote the core values. First, this is the customer. POSCO did not merely focus on the selling products on the customer. We have been working hard to, uh, to offer solutions that can enhance their values. Such efforts can be delivered into solution marketing and a solution-based platform business, which I will get you back in the latest slide. Second is the uh, environment. Diverse activities that take place in the steel industry have tremendous impact on the climate change and consequently in the environment of our future generation. In a moment, I will elaborate on how POSCO has undertaken proactive measures to protect the preserved environment, both in production products and the product themselves. So this is the society. The nature of a POSCO business is, of course, to uh, pursue profit. But uh, at the same time, we have always exerted great efforts to contribute to job creation and development of local communities that we work in. Let me move on to the efforts of POSCO that have been working to promote and reinforce the values. The customer. POSCO is the continuously commitment to uh, enhancing customer values. Part of such efforts include the solution marketing that seeks to offer the best possible solution to our customers, combining technical, commercial, and human solutions. First, we have a technical solution that provides products of the highest standard, such as Giga Steel, which is the uh, culmination of POSCO's state-of-the-art technology. Second, uh, we have a commercial solution that involves supply chain management from 
customer standpoint and sales activities such as developing new market based on the partnership with customers. Uh, another example is offering financial schemes and the financial consulting for customers in need of such solutions. Third, we have a human solution reinforced from the service marketing activity built on a report with the customer with the human touch. One example is the key account management that focuses on the specific needs of the each account. The uh, essence of the human solution is all about listening attentively to the voice of customer to proactively find their needs and uh, offer optional solutions to enhance their values. Let's move on to solution-based platform business. In order to uh, enhance values for steel industry and the society as a whole, POSCO offers a solution-based platform business that enables constructive competition and collaboration with not just, another, not just other steel makers, but also we, with the partners in non-steel areas. By combining a diverse range of expertise such as technology, engineering capabilities, and the mill operation experience, POSCO creates customized solutions for our business partners and subsequently present attractive collaboration opportunities. One uh, such example is a POIST, or POSCO Innovative Steelmaking Technology that combines a fine X and an environmentally friendly smelting reduction process of POSCO. We do CAM, C -E -M, which stands for compact, endless cast and a rolling mill. In other words, the POIST enables blast furnace operation with the minimum involvement of sintering and the coke plant. And it's endless casting and rolling uh, through a directly connected configuration between one casting line and one rolling line. Rolling, rolling line. The ultimate benefit customer can uh, experience higher experience in production process at the low cost, this is more eco-friendly, not to mention less investment requirement. In addition to, to the activities of enhancing customer values, POSCO is always uh, working hard to mitigate negative impact on the environment as a responsible corporate citizen. Such efforts are reflected in the diverse environment management system of POSCO. For example, uh, we aim to lower average carbon emissions from 2.2 tons of CO2 to uh, 2 tons of CO2 by 2020 with the carbon management system. Aside from the carbon management system, POSCO allocates 10% of uh, all CAPEX environmental facilities for green and pleasant working environment. The green area coverage within our work amounts to 22%. In addition to our green efforts in the production process, POSCO is always aware of the environmental impacts of our products to the society. Let's take the example of a PBCEV, POSCO body concept, uh, electrical vehicles. A prototype lightweight electric vehicle developed by POSCO PBCEV adopts gigasteel in key areas of the vehicle with the tensile strength of up one gigapascal. There are models made with more than 45% of ultra advanced high strength steel, namely TWIP, twip, twining induced plastic steel. At the end of today, the body weight was reduced by 26% from the existing 296 kilograms to 218 kilograms. In the life cycle assessment of the auto automotive from production, use, disposal, to recycling, we expect total CO2 reduction of 50%. The greatness of PVC EV made with GigaSteel does not just lie in light body weight, but also in, infra in, in, also in structural stiffness impact it is designed to pass seven crash tests and four body stiffness tests required by ISO standards for automotive safety. This means safety of a PVC EV is equivalent to that of the vehicle 
with a five-star U.S. new car assessment program safety rating. On the top of the efforts to offer customer-focused solution and minimizing our impact on the environment, POSCO has always placed priority on fulfilling social responsibility in the local communities that, work, that we are working. Let me share with you an example here. In 2014, POSCO founded, founded PTKPSE, Krakato POSCO Social Enterprises, service Indonesia, to help create jobs for Indonesian youth in three villages near to the PTKP, currently urban running in Chilegon, Indonesia. As of now, cumulative total of 108 youth have completed job skill training at KPSC services Indonesia. And 85% uh, of them have landed a job afterwards. As of 2016, uh, the social enterprise down in the road where the profit generated can give rise to the buyer virtue cycle to being redirected to offer training for more potential benefits program. On the other jobs created by the social enterprise, POSCO Group as a whole employed 10,529 in Southeast Asia of 2016. We are continuously committed to stable job creation in the region. I think uh, this is showed one of the Myanmar uh, and Vietnam is made of uh, POSCO H beams and the post make the uh, anti anti uh, corrupted anti uh, corrosion plane the plate with using or the POSCO specialized plate to give uh, relative good benefit there. Uh, I have to work through the POSCO's first 50 years journey that we had to stand now. So the, what is all forward? I would like to use the remaining time to talk about how POSCO can build upon existing efforts based on the core values to make a better world in the key strategic approach, approaches. First, reinforcing competitiveness through competition and the collaboration with in the industry peers. Second, combining the strengths of software hearts to respond to the fourth industry revolution and enhance our customer values. Third, the, uh, one creating uh, one post that embraces, embraces cultural diversity in the age of globalization. This Krakatao uh, shows that the uh, Krakatao Postco Indonesia and CSB Beseng. Is, let's move to the second approach of the combining software and hardware. POSCO is eager to create a new value on top of the existing domain expertise using IT technologies enables that driving force industry revolution such as IoT and big data and AI. Based on our excellence in our automation that highly enhances the process efficiency, POSCO is now entering the pace of smartization based on big data and AI. Uh, this is the last, sli last slide that uh, now POSCO, we had a new CEO uh, two months ago. Uh, not, uh, last but not least is the third approach of ensuring cultural diversity, embracing the cultural diversity is a imperative for POSCO with extensive global reach in 23 countries where 63 operator operations are up and running. Cultural diversity is a, a very key to uh, ensuring future competitiveness of, of POSCO with the global aspirations. POSCO emphasis of cultural diversity is also highlighted in the company's code of ethics, as you can see from the code on the slide. POSCO Code of Ethics consists of two key elements, ethics charter and the layout of fundamentals and the practical guideline for the stakeholders. So lastly, now uh, POSCO great, grew into a global steel maker together with the remarkable economic development Korea. I shared with you the core values of POSCO in as Incorporate while 
taking an endless change that provided a springboard for the next leap. I have also given you a short summary of the strategy appro approaches POSCO plans to take for the process of next leap. I would like to close my presentation by telling you that POSCO is open to diverse collaboration opportunities with you in the count that you can contribute to the advancement in steel industry and the further prosperity in the worldwide market. So if you have any great ideas, we would like more than happy to ha explore the possibilities. Thank you so much for attention and enjoy the rest time in here. Muito obrigado. Kamsamita. <laughs>